I do this character that does stand up, and I used to take him out and do things with him and do a little bits here and there. I haven't done it in like four or five years. I think it, did Bobby say that character opened up for Bobby? Yeah, but he said I have to do it as myself too. Yeah. I think in that podcast, he's like, okay, you're going to come with me and open for me in Brea, but you have to do it as yourself. And did that like, ever happen? You. It did. And I did the character, uh, uh, you know, who's a character I came up with on 10 Minute Podcast. He's just this comedian, right? He calls himself an open mic veteran. You know, he's been doing open mics forever. And so I did it at, at opening up for Bobby. And he's like, you have to do some of it as yourself. So I just kind of did this bit where I would do some of his jokes and then I would take, you know, it's silly, I got a fucking wig on and I take the wig off and I go, eh. and as myself, I start explaining it. Hello, my name is Will. See, the reason that it's funny is because uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is always, he's in these movies and he's got the thick Austrian accent, but he's like, yeah, my name is Ben Williams. I'm a, you know, I'm a cop from Colorado. No, you're not. Uh, and it doesn't make sense as the comedian character that I'm doing because that character doesn't do impersonations. Okay, carrying on. And then I put the wig back on and go back into this dumb thing. Yeah. And uh, I don't think it was very good, but Bobby required it in order for me to open for him. He's like, you're not fucking doing it. So I'm not going to get up on stage and not do, we agreed, I'll do it. But um, having been up there just in, you know, whatever, I've done it like a dozen fucking times, or whatever, not a bunch of times, right? Like nothing. Uh, and, you know, these comedians that go up every night, sometimes two times a night, it, it's, I, I do, I will say, I love performing in front of people when I get the chance, but it, it's, it's, uh, it's a specific thing that, that, uh, that I, I just, I just, I don't know. I got to go back to this. It's like the providing value, yeah. you know, I think great standups are fucking incredible. I'll, I'll go, you know, when I've gone and watched standup, you know, there's your friend you're going to see, but then there's this other person who really speaks to you. You know what I mean? And if you like one comedian a night, that's a lot. Because a, a, a comedy club is like a fucking crazy restaurant where there's no menu. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. what would you like? There's nothing else like that. There's like, you don't go to like a like music place. Well, what do we got here? We got Christian metal and there's some world music and then there's a reggae thing. Mm -hmm. And it's all rammed in together. Or you don't go to a restaurant Oh, I'd love a nice steak. Cool. First, here's a bowl of Fruit Loops, yeah. and then then we got you a crudite, and then uh, this is our sushi tower. And, well, what about the steak? Oh, the steak's coming, and yeah. then blah blah blah. Oh no, the steak got bumped, so there's no steak. But here's a fucking <laughs> shitty store bought cheesecake. Yeah, you know, and that's what comedians are up against yeah. when they go into a place. It's like I don't pair well with the poached salmon. Yeah. You know, I'm chicken fingers. I, I already, I already am chicken fingers. So. You know, these great comedians that are able to go up on a night where poached salmon goes up, and then it's like, fuck, I'm, you were also spicy. I got some kick to me. <laughs> For me, even going to open mics, it could be a wonderful escape. Yeah. I mean, just laughing, laughing together with others, it can make you, I don't know, it just feels really good. When we've done like, you know, like, I, and I hope to do it with Dudesy, but like live podcasts are fun in front of groups of people. And, you know, you talk to them afterwards and, and take some pictures and man, they are, they forgot what the fuck they got going on. Yep. Yep. And a lot of yep. them got to go back to work the next day. It's yep. a Wednesday or Thursday, you know? No, it's, it's, it's a lot of value. I'm fortunate enough to be busy doing my own bullshit.